This morning we're joined by Gai Shai Song, who is the curator and creative director of the Believe in the Future concerts, as well as a renowned musician and also the chairman of Alibaba Entertainment Strategic Committee. Welcome, Gai. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. So, of course, the last few months have been turbulent for the whole world and no industry has been left unscathed. But how has the entertainment industry coped and in what way has Alibaba kept customers coming in? Yes, 2020 has been uh, treating everyone in such a harsh manner. Um, I think the whole entertainment industry has been hit really hard as well. Uh, from China to Hollywood, everywhere. Uh, it's extremely challenging, but we have been trying the best we can to explore the possibilities of showcasing our creative talent online. Fortunately, we, we've already got uh, so many of, of those streaming platforms, video streaming platform, music streaming platform, and short video platform, a lot of this kind of platform. So we still have the stage. I mean, talking about those online platforms, you were the curator and creative director of the Believe in the Future concert, which was a massive success recently. What has the response been online? Well, I'm mostly touched by the netizens' comments. So many said that they felt cheered up by these Believe in the Future concerts, and they felt they were understood and connected by more people out there. 270 million people watched the, the first two concerts live, and we're going to do the third one, uh, tomorrow night, 7.30, that will be the third one. And we then upload the, uh, the videos on different streaming platforms. Actually, it's not, they're not different streaming platforms. They're every uh, streaming platform in China. Uh, just within a few hours, the viewership reached billions. Even in, in one streaming platform, you got, well, I, I saw the number like 1.4 billion. I can imagine. Over a billion hits is insane. I heard the concert was planned in only 15 days, which is a very short amount of time and a fraction of the time that would be used to plan any in-person event. Uh, how did planning go and were there any hiccups along the road? It's a miracle. It couldn't have happened without the timely responses from my fellow artists and the professional work from my colleagues. Especially uh, Da Mai, uh, the, the team from Da Mai to <coughs> the Da Mai team were the whole team like seven days, eight days in the offices, in the uh, post production offices. Well, they, they never sleep like, like <laughs> that because it's not 13 days actually. So if you think about it, we have a couple of days to communicate with artists, we have a couple of days to the post production and those kind of, you know, thing for different streaming platforms. Actually, they're only one week for 300 top, pop stars to create their own content. 